There is no question that for many families, the abrupt shift out of the classroom and onto the internet created problems. I don't want to say the virtual learning is a wipeout, but I would tell you that the virtual learning is a challenge. For some, it's a necessary risk to stop the spread of this virus, but for others, challenges posed by virtual learning seem insurmountable. I am only echoing what our education community is telling me, but our kids have surely shown that they get a heck of a lot more out of it if they're in school. That seemed to be the case in Randolph County, where the Board of Education voted 3-2 to two to discontinue distance learning at the end of the first semester. That means that after January 22nd, the kids will be back in the classroom. As we have given the counties a great deal of latitude here you know, in, in making decisions that they can best make. This seems to be the latest chapter in a struggle with virtual learning. The American Federation of Teachers filed grievances against Randolph and other counties, demanding teachers teach either online or in person, but not both. After the decision, 12 News heard from concerned parents and guardians that did not want to go on camera. One person told us they would possibly opt for homeschool, instead of going back. We have got to educate our kids some way, somehow. You know, we're dealing with something here. We have almost half of our state in orange and red now. Reporting for 12 News in Randolph County, I'm Amanda Mueller.